Welcome back to the channel. We are here July 13th, and this will be the showdown slate breakdown for NBA's Finals Game 4 on July 14th between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Phoenix Suns. Welcome back, guys. I know you guys miss me. We are here, and this... I, I, you gotta start saying, yo, whatever thing, whatever thing you have in your mind that you said you're gonna do, speak it, speak it into fruition, because it, it will come true. You gotta believe. And what I said was, I wanted a three for three parlay, same game parlay, and we did it. We did it. We knocked it out the park. You could have took the point line for the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, the money line definitely came through. Milwaukee Bucks won, and they won by twenty. Drew Holiday came through with over 19 and a half. He scored 21. And the under 221 and a half came um, through as well. The total of that game was 220. So at one and a half points, it's still a win. It's still a win. We got that parlay at plus 402. If you took my advice, I'm glad you did. You know, we stay consistent. Because I'm missing, I'm not, I barely miss them. I barely miss all of them. You know, I'm, I'm getting at least one or two. Two, definitely. But three for three. I want more consistency on that. We'll see if we can be able to do it again. I want to have a repeat performance. But if you benefited from my picks, you know, feel free. Feel free. Give me a donation. I don't know. Say a thank you. Something. My cash app will be down below. Messness Jets. Uh, at, the, at the end of the video, I'll put it down there. You'll see anyway if you want to donate. But it's neither here nor there. We're going to move on to today's slate. Well, July 14th slate. But And before we get into that, just one more thing. Uh, my lineups came through as well. Came through as well. I won nine dollars on this particular lineup. I was aiming for a lower entry type tournament around that seven k and below, you know, five k and below type range. Those um, tournaments tend to be a little more expensive. Might be five dollars, um, maybe ten, maybe eight. They're those range um, definitely. But uh, if you look for the lower entry tournaments, you'll have a higher probability to get to the top because uh, it's the, it's lower. It's low amount of competition, you know, 7,000 instead of 50,000 people, you know, that it's better if you do that. If you're beginning, if you're a beginner, um, you have a better chance and just look for the ones that you're, you feel comfortable with the payout structure or the first place. Cause I know you guys look for that, that first place and that's all you care about, but you got to look at if you cash, will it double your money? That's another one to look at. All right. So we're going to go into game four slate. And uh, I'll put it up right here. You'll see what I have right here. We got maybe something a little bit similar, a little similar. But my player of the day for game four is going to be Chris Middleton. All right. I want Chris Middleton at the captain. Obviously, game three, um, you definitely could have cashed with Holiday. But the number one lineup had Giannis Antetokounmpo because he had another 40-point game at 13 rebounds. He really went off. But for game four, I'm looking for... A classic Chris Middleton game. He has it in his bag. He did it each and every series. 32 points. Well, 32 points, 7 and 4 against Atlanta. 26, 8 and 13 against Atlanta. Um, he even did it against the Brooklyn Nets when it was, um, they're not, they not showing it, but he had a 55 DK, which is very great for this price right now. It was 23, 6 and 10 with what? Is that five steals as well? So if he can do one of those type of performances, he is home where he shoots better. He does have some whole room splits, splits with Chris Middleton. But I think he steps up. Everyone got their turn. Drew Holiday was very good on the previous game. Got you 41 DK. Chris Middleton can easily, easily take over a quarter, just knocking down threes. Um, he was hot a little bit in the previous game, but I definitely see him stepping up another notch, getting to where he usually is, especially with the points um, in that 20-point range and above. That's where he usually is. So he's been having a little bit downfall with the 18 and 11. That's not usually him. If he can provide over 20 points, plus with the assists, plus the rebounds, you're looking at a very good captain, all right? Someone that can compete with Giannis as well. So in a util spot, Giannis, these are staples in every lineup. Giannis said the football is going to be in every lineup. It does not matter. Despite that, that Atlanta game, that was the first game back from injury. But you got um, a 50, well, he got injured in the game, actually. 53 bomb, a 71 and a 69. Giannis attended the Kupo is a must-have player. Next is going to be DeAndre Ayton in that util spot. This one, at his price point, 
If I think the Phoenix Suns are going to lose, I'd rather pay for Aiton than pay up for a Booker or pay up for Chris Paul. And it paid dividends in Game 3 because if you paid up for Booker, you wasted money because he did absolutely nothing. And then if you paid up for Chris Paul, he pretty much did almost the same as DeAndre Ayton, and DeAndre Ayton is cheaper. DeAndre Ayton has a solid floor despite the fact he got in foul trouble. He's going to be you know, keyed into rebounds, keyed into points, and you're just looking for extra peripherals and steals and blocks, and he's a very active, agile, big man, and he's going to get you there. So I think he's one of the safest plays um, for tomorrow's slate, obviously, other than Giannis Antetokounmpo. But to get there, um, he, he plays a huge factor. He's the biggest man on the court, so the rebounds are set in at 10 at minimum. He got you 9. That's fine. He was in foul trouble. But a double-double is in store. You get a bonus with that as well with DeAndre Ayton. Uh, next is Cam Johnson, the unsung hero for the Phoenix Suns, coming off the bench, playing major, major minutes, playing better than Jay Crowder, playing better than McCall Bridges. This is their fourth best player on the Phoenix Suns, hands down. You got Booker, you got Chris Paul, you got Aiden, and Cam Johnson has been absolutely outstanding. The dunk that he did over P.J. Tucker, ridiculous. The, the reverse layup he had in the game, this man is really stepping up. I want him in each and every lineup. A nice, cheap fill-in at that util spot with his salary. Maybe you could get a little crazy and throw him in. No, no. I don't want to say that. I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want to go too crazy. If you want to throw one hypothetical lineup, you can. But Cam Johnson at 3,800, I love what he's been doing off the bench. And he's getting major minutes now. Same thing like a Connaughton getting major minutes now. Uh, but then we got, last but not least, Drew Holiday. When they're home and must-win situation, when I spoke about defense, Drew Holiday is the epitome of that. And he took it up to another level, 45 DraftKings points, 21-9-5, one block and one steal. He was on top of Chris Paul. Um, he was um, switching over to Devin Booker, had him struggling. Very good performance from him, and I want him in my lineup as well. Um, if you, you can copy this if you want and fill in the last spot. But I'm going to more Milwaukee Bucks-centric lineup if I think they're going to win. And I think they're going to win. So uh, let's go over to FanDuel. Just look at how, you know, we dress up the lineup over here. I'm going to continue with Chris Middleton. I'm bringing it back with DeAndre Ayton. I have to have Giannis. And then a nice, decent salary player to come through with is 9K Cameron Johnson. The consistency is there. You can still finish out with the lineup with solid players. Bobby Porter stepped up with 11-5. and five. Connaughton can also do well off the bench. Cameron Payne um, is a very high um, spark point guard off the bench for them as well. So the options are there. You can switch it in and out if you don't like Middleton and you want to put Drew Holiday or you, you don't care about Middleton. You want to put Booker if you're a Phoenix fan or you think Phoenix is going to win. Switch it up. It's all up to you. I'm just telling you what I think will happen. And um, at the end of the day, it's your money. Okay? It's your money, guys. So we're going to go over to... FanDuel and check the props for the same game parlay. I have one throw in a dart. You do not have to put this in the same game parlay. I suggest you put this as a separate bet because the odds are crazy anyway. But if you want to do first basket Chris Middleton, I'll take a shot on it. The first basket for game three happened to be Drew Holiday. So we were right. If you even took that, since I love Drew Holiday, if you took that and took that to the next step with the first basket, boom, you would have got that. Now, game four, I want Chris Middleton. You can take that advantage of that. Plus 550 as a first basket. I like that prop as well. Chris Middleton over 24 and a half. I think he finally shows up in this series, puts the ball in the basket, knocks down some threes, and ties up this series, okay? They're going to put more focus on Giannis Antetokounmpo since he's had back-to-back 40-point -back games, and they're going to not want to have... It's, it's too much momentum if you get Giannis getting easy baskets and getting people in foul trouble. You're going to have to force other people to do it, okay? So, next and last but not least, to continue to finish out um, this parlay we got right here. Because technically it's a two. It's, it's two. So, if you want to put the Milwaukee Bucks money line in there, you can. 
But I, I love Chris Middleton, and then I want the under on Devin Booker, 27.5. That is a high number. I think he, he bounces back, but he just finishes right under that 27.5, maybe 27. And, and the, the prop is 27.5. You win. You win. All right? So I think that's a solid choice. We will see. All right? We will see. Can we go two for two and three for three? Can we do that? Let me know down below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, MessingSJSD. I'm working on the football stuff, guys. Um, it's coming through. I'm, I'm just it, The video is coming out very soon. Uh, just look out for that because we are going to be switching over to NFL, getting you prepped up for your drafts and for the DraftKings and FanDuel season. All right, for football, it's going to be super, super exciting. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's keep pushing up the subscribers. We are almost at 450. We're at 435 right now. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. And I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Peace out.